In 1917, an anonymous member of the New York Dadaists famously wrote, The only works of art America has given are her plumbing and bridges. This pithy statement was in partial defense of Fountain, Marcel Duchamp's famous ready-made, which stands among the most significant works of modernism of the 20th century. By turning a factory-made urinal upside down, signing it with a false name, and putting it on display, Duchamp challenged conventions of what constituted art, paving the way for surrealism and pop art. While the remark was meant to be humorous, it would have rung with more than an undercurrent of truth to an early 20th century reader. European visitors to the United States during this period constantly marveled at American plumbing. More important, though, is the inclusion of bridges. If the unknown Dadaist had substituted skyscrapers for bridges, he or she could have been referring to any number of structures, particularly the Woolworth or Flatiron buildings, both of which earned high praise at this time. But, in 1917, the combination of American achievement and bridges undeniably meant the Brooklyn Bridge. Though already complete for 34 years by that time, the Brooklyn Bridge was still celebrated as a wonder of American technological and artistic achievement. No other bridge in existence had elicited such a reaction. Praised as a song in stone and steel, it had been, and arguably continues to be, almost universally admired from the time of its opening. It seems significant that this most modern of modern art groups should signal out the Brooklyn Bridge for praise, even if tongue-in-cheek. Though recognized for incorporating Gothic grandeur, the Brooklyn Bridge was still thought of as inherently current. In an art historical context, the term modern can have multiple meanings, particularly in relation to American art. For the purposes of this essay and exhibition, modern refers to the art of the late 19th through the mid-20th century. Artists' representations of the bridge can be divided into three categories, with a few exceptions. First, views of the long sweep of the bridge. Second, a focus on the towers, and third, a scene viewed through the bridge's grid of cables. From the time of its completion, these three views dominate artistic production, and though artists were immediately drawn to its